Hey guys, Dico here. This is what I showed in Cube Hamster Server Tour yesterday, and today we're going to build it. So I actually showed it as a 3x3 trapdoor, but you could also easily use it as, for example, a drawbridge. Like that. You can see shit though, um, that kind of sucks. But um, yeah, it's just very, very compact. It's only 3x5. By three, so three high, three long, and um, five wide, or something. And um, it just retracts very quickly. So yeah, um, let's just um, uh, build it. I'd say. I'm just going to grab some blocks and repeaters, redstone, torches blocks, levers, and sticky pistons. That's all you will need. Um, a very small amount of shit. And um, yeah, I, I'd say uh, let's build it in the other orientation so you actually see it works in the other orientation. So you want to have two pistons like that and then this will be your door basically and you could like these two blocks will be your door. That's that's what they are going to get. And then I'll also show you how to make it to a three by three trap door. So also place a storage piston on the side here. And then we'll just go on how to build the closing circuit. So right on the side of this piston here, you wanna have redstone in a block, and then this is going to be your input and you want to power it with the repeater and if you want to power the input, don't power that block because then it's not going to work you want to you want you have to power this block and then on the side of this block a torch and that's going to power a sticky piston with the block right there and this all this does is creates a one tick pulse and it does something weird after that, but we'll fix that in a second. So this torch is going to power down into redstone, into a block, torch on the side, and a block on top. What it does now, what it, this is the closing circuit. There you go. And you'd think that this would mess up in some locations or something, where this piston would fire first. And yes, that's true. That's a race condition, but um, once we add the falling edge, you'll see why that won't happen. And actually, let's just do that right now. So, from this block here with the torch, two repeaters, this will be default delay and this will be a four ticks. And then just two blocks here with the redstone and one of your wall blocks. Just fill it out like that. And now what you see is we have redstone down here. So when you turn on that lever, when uh, then it goes like that. And then when this piston retracts, then the direction of this redstone changes. So if it was to power this piston here, then it would power the piston. And then one tick later, this would turn around, and it would this piston will retract, and it will not it will not spit out this piston and I don't exactly know why but it, it's fine it works all the time and it doesn't mess up it's very reliable so it just works like that and then to build the double extender that's very simple block there torch on the side block on top that's going to extend this piston here and then a repeater right there and this repeater can be either on one or two and you can choose yourself. I like to set it to two because the animation of the dogs in there just looks nicer. What it, what it'll do now is that, and then we just need to retract it. But we did already use up almost all the space. But all you have to do to retract it is place a repeater on four, powering this block here. And now you might be wondering, hey, but that's actually powering the input. Yes, it is actually. But I actually said, don't put, don't put your input right here. So 
what's going on I just explained the closing but with the double extender it just extends this part and then when this repeater turns on it's going to power this redstone dust and it's going to power this piston here and then after one tick this torch will turn off this piston will retract and the redstone here will again change and it will change the direction and it will either turn this piston off, retracting that piston but it will also, this torch will turn back on so it retracts that piston, will this is powered still then this torch turns on, it powers this piston and brings this block back here and then on the last tick it's powered it powers this block and this piston here and that's what's going on and this torch actually turns on again because this redstone here changes direction so yeah that's um, pretty complicated um, I don't know if you uh, I'm not sure if you actually understand how it works but um, you can have a look just by building it I'm not going to put up a world save for this just because it's so simple and so compact and very very easy to build so yeah, if it looks, if you set the repeater to one, it it also works just fine. I don't know what you like better, but I like it better on two ticks. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Um, a huge thanks to Cube Hamster for uh, featuring me in his uh, episode of um, Cube Hamster Server Tour. It was really nice to make a video with him, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers. I'll see you next time. Whoops, sorry. I forgot to show you how to make this to a 3x3 three three trapdoor. So let's just do that very quickly. Um, just take some blocks. And you're just going to place three pistons along the side here. And then go around the corner. Leave this, leave this open. Then place two sticky pistons right there two more blocks and then the exact same thing here leave this open two more sticky pistons and then locks and then from this torch here a piece of redstone dust no just do a repeater into a block find the block redstone and then redstone like this and around again down and up and then into these, and then down, and then just into a block. And that'll power all of these pistons. So there you go. If you want to make this into an iris door, so it actually goes like an ethno door. Um, repeater there, repeater there, uh, repeater there, repeater there, and repeater right there. And then, okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.